What's up, you guys? Thank you for joining me. This is HMK here. Uh, for today, I'm going to go through a little bit of a process on how to edit some photos as a beginner. I've chosen a few pictures from over the summer that I did. You'll notice for any photographer, I have a certain type of feel to the pictures. I always suggest to people uh, when they ask me about editing is always stick to what you like personally. What is your flavor? What is your taste? What is your feel when you take pictures? Anyways, let's dive into this and hopefully you guys can enjoy. And before we get into the video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It helps out the channel and I'm really working on this. So I'm gonna keep it simple. So this way you guys can follow in any other program that you might have. Over here, I, sh I shot this on a 30, 135 millimeter on a Canon. And it came out really nice. Uh, obviously, this is natural lighting. As you can see, there's a perfect, uh, you know, the background there it has, it, there's a perfect fade in there. And this, the middle of the picture has a perfect focus. So uh, in this type of picture, I, my pictures tend, uh, tend to um, be more on the candid side. So it's okay if you can't, uh, you're not able to match my edit with yours. That's totally fine, but it's it's worth a shot. So this way you know what my process is. And then if you can base your process off of mine and understand, okay, this is where I got. Now, uh, you might be over here, up here to your level of whatever you want to do, however you want to edit that picture and, and have a certain type of feel to that picture. So I'm going to go here. Exposure, I think exposure is fine. I might come back to it later but let's just keep it here so i know what i'm doing um i uh, exp exposure right now is at 0.20 uh contrast so so um, i'm going to keep it simple again i might get carried away with certain things that you might not understand as a beginner um but here it is so contrast as you can see it will darken the darks and kind of help you understand what the lighter parts of the picture is but a 10 i know it looks pretty good when it's darker but i want to keep it simple for you guys uh highlights i i'm brightening the highlights a little more because i wanted to kind of pop shadows um i'll bring them down so the highlights are at 40 41 you could keep it there you can even enter it here plus 41 and we'll go negative 40 40 on this one in the shadows so it has a balance whites not really concerned about it it's not besides its color it's not really that it's really that so white so i'll just keep it at um <clears throat> uh, zero balance blacks um so it you see how the blacks are here it kind of pops them when you go higher actually i'll keep it there at 30 31 because i wanted to kind of stay bright for you guys and then we can kind of base or edit off of how it generally looks so right now um the basic steps that i did was exposure contrast highlights shadows and the blacks now from what it was before I, you can probably notice okay it has a significant difference to it right this was it this is after before after before after it's not much, right? Now, let's take this a step further. Uh, you probably get the basics of what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to make sure I have a nice flat surface of colors that I can kind of work with, make it brighter, make it darker, whatever it is. But this is how, um, if I were to start again, this is what I would do. So this way, you're not going all crazy in the curve section and the vibrance and saturation and going all nuts and then not knowing where to start or where to end. Just keep it simple. Keep it simple. And I think that's the best way to do it. And also, it really depends if you take good pictures. If you don't take good pictures, if your setting is awful and on your camera, then you can't really do too much with it, even in post. So anyways, let's go to the next one. The bra. So here, texture. I kind of learned this trick to kind of keep it balanced here so what i did what i do usually is i bring the texture up so i think 30 looks good then i bring the clarity down a little bit why i bring the clarity down because 
it helps it with the texture uh when i bring the texture up it will okay show you the texture of the picture but when i bring the clarity down it brings less of that edgy look to it uh, down it becomes a little softer to your eyes so it looks pretty i don't want to say dreamy but it looks soft enough for it to be you know a, like a, a moody style picture you could say um d haze there's not really much sun here where there's a sun ray or something uh, but i'll just show you what it does if you bring the haze up it kind of brings it that vintage type of look um, that's not the look what I'm going for. However, it does look really good. I'm not going to lie. But uh, let's just keep it above to 10. Um, vibrance and saturation. You have to be very careful. So <clears throat> instead of saying it, I'll show you what vibrance does. You see that? It brings down the surrounding colors. But the immediate color you see... Um, Literally, his blood color is red, right? So you could see the tones, the red tones in the skin. So if you bring that down, of course, everything saturation down, it brings everything to black and white. Now, uh, this is cool and all, right? You can do black and white pictures. It's not really that hard. Depends on your contrast. But let's go back, bring this to zero, bring this to zero. All right, so I feel like the colors are pretty decent. I'm not going to go too crazy. I'll bring the vibrance up a little bit to like 25-ish, and I'll bring the saturation down so it's not too nuts. Cool? So that's really basically it on this shot that I think is the basic setup. Now, um, as you can see, there's tons of other things here. This, for this video, I'm not going to do. Um, if you guys really like this video, I'll make another one showing you what the rest of this stuff does i'll go into detail about it um it is fun stuff when you once you know all of these things and how to do it um but for now i think this is this is how you should start your pictures and um just for a little more touch to it there's a temperature uh, section here where of course if you if it's um depending on uh, of course the day it is the time it is the day um this is a summer shot, so I would prefer it to be a little warmer than being cold because it will just look weird. Because uh, if you go to the cold, it's just, it's cool. It's nice. I personally don't really like it. Uh, my shots tend to be a little more on the warmer side, um, as you can see. So if you bring it up to like, so this is zero, but if you bring it up to like maybe 10, I think 10 is decent this is how it is so this to me this is the perfect start i think if you stick to this master this and understand what every edit does <clears throat> what each section does to each type of picture um i think it'll be a good base uh setup for you to start your editing process with um and again i think that um getting into more detail would only kind of fluster you a little more because you'll be like, okay, I did everything. Now I need to do more. That's not always the case. Uh, to me, I think I wouldn't even do anything more to this picture because uh, the picture looks great. Uh, this is the before, right? This is the after. Uh, so, and sometimes just understand, you don't always have to do too much to the picture. You really don't. It's, um, and I, when I started editing, uh, sometimes it, I would get carried away with editing a lot of pictures and then 500 pictures later, I'm just like putting saturation of vibrance up because the colors don't look the same to me anymore after 500 pictures. And then when I look back at the first two, 300 pictures, I'm like, oh my God, it looks like I didn't even put color in them. So be careful what you do and uh, how, how much of it you do as an editing um, person because... And sometimes when you do too much, it's just, it just you you put yourself in a hole and you just can't get out of it because you're like, oh, but I like this and I like that. That's too much stuff. So for now, uh, this is it. I think um, if you guys like this uh, video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and definitely put in the comments if you have a preference on um, the next video that I should put up and what kind of editing process. Uh, do you feel is more comfortable for you? And then maybe I can go through that process with you 
and uh, we can break down on their editing process. And this is for now. I think this is this is great. And uh, thank you guys so much if you made it this far into the video. And uh, until next time, peace out.